What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Uh, so we're at Calavia Mall and we're off. We're off to where Mall. Well, nothing on my wrist, so it's kind of wrist related. Wrist related? Yeah, any guesses? Hmm. Begins with R, ends with X. Rock, 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 roll it. Inshallah. So. M. Kwan's been thinking long and hard about this watch. He's done lots and lots of research and he really, really likes this watch, huh? And, um, uh, such a pain to get hold of, right? Yeah. It's a bit of a shame. Um, this was sold out, apparently, in the whole of the UAE and they told me that there was like a month's waiting list. And then one of them popped up, basically, in, uh, I think, Alain. And it took them a week to get a driver to bring it down. They must have taken a camel to walk to, right? <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah. Oh my god. Alright, are you ready for this? Is this your... Or do you want to go around the mall and then Let think about it? The thing is that I didn't make this decision when it came with the AP, right? No. But uh, this is a, a 2015 model. Um, and yeah, and it's kind of like, yeah, it's a big deal because it's been four years, well, not four years, three, three, four years. When I first came out, when we first came out, my contract was actually for three years. And um, summer this year, I, we would have all been flying back had we stuck to that contract. But obviously they've extended that contract now and things like that. So it's... Um, it's kind of, it's, it's to do with that as well. It's kind of an achievement. It's the same year that, you know, Zayn has turned his first birthday. So, yeah. So and kind of, also, <laughs> you know, you work very hard. Yeah, you work very hard to support your family. And I think you're definitely worthy of it. Yeah, so this is this yeah. is one where I've got blessings from, from the wife and the baby gone as well. So I'm happy about that. We'll get your Krispy Kreme first. What should we do with Krispy Kreme? Let's go for first. Where do we go? Should we get a donut first? I don't want one. Uh, I want one. And then drive to Caladia Mall not to have a donut. <laughs> this is the only Krispy Kreme <laughs> in Abu Dhabi, I think. Like the only Krispy Kreme in Abu Dhabi. Uh, the rest of yeah, them are Dunkin' Krispy. Donuts for some reason. This is a 39 millimeter, yes? Yes. That's nice. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel good. Suiting. Thank you. I've been waiting for this so long, like I went to Yasmo to yeah, see it originally. It's, it's actually, this is the only piece in I know, in the UAE. It's been so hard to try and get hold of it. It's the yeah. latest one, by the way. It's very classic. My first Rolex. Yeah. So we expected. I did because I've seen it already, but it's been it's been a long time. No, since but I like, I mean, now it. if you can imagine wearing it. So, um, what's the price for this one? This was... It's actually about 10% discount on this. Okay. 
Okay. But we have some company if you work in Admog. I think of this. Um, it's actually, okay, it's not here, but it's just easy, just any cloth, just a soft yeah. cloth. I, I will, yeah, okay, there's two things I wanted to know. One is if you had a cleaning cloth. The other thing is, it, I know Rolex gives the pouches as well, you know, like the travel pouches. Um, like the, do you have those? Actually, we have only like this one, sir, for traveling, you can use this one, this kind of box. Oh. You know, I can give you more if you want. No, there's like a green, like a Rolex one, I think it's... Uh, do we have... Okay, do we have the pouch that we need? No pouches? Yeah. Can, I, can I get one? Like, how do I get one for this? Like, um, for the pouch? Yeah. Because I saw this one in the UK and it had a cleaning cloth and it had like a mm -hmm. pouch and things, so... We'll try to... Can we order for that? You can't, huh? <laughs> That's fine. That's cool. So, okay, the life is here. It's five years, by the way, now. Okay, awesome. Because yeah. it's in America, it's brand new, so maybe. Why do we see this? I want to see. So, purchase made. And actually it was really good because the price, because it's kind of dependent on the Swiss franc, um, so there was actually a further discount to be made. They gave uh, a discount and then if you tally in the, the exchange rate and stuff like that, it was quite good. However, Ms. Bila isn't very happy. This, this, is, a luxury, this is a luxury brand. Um, and we've had Rolex experiences elsewhere in the world. Um, never purchased anything, but this is the first time we have purchased something and that had to be one of the most um, uneventful purchases ever. Considering, you know, the amount of money that we spent in the store, I felt that it was just, yeah. There was, um, I, look, overall the service was okay. I mean, what else are they going to do? No, but when you asked about the yeah. The travel case. The guy that's so unhelpful. Yeah, there, I asked about a travel case. There's a travel sleeve, there's a, a, a Rolex green travel sleeve, and also I noticed that there was no cleaning cloth. I think, you know, that's a little unusual for a, for a watch. I mean, I, I get that with my lower end, mid tier kind of watches. There's always a cleaning cloth given. And then when I asked them about it, the lady, bless her, was very helpful, tried to, tried to see if there was something appropriate that she could get. Uh, manager wasn't at all. Manager was not very helpful at all. And I, I know this isn't normal. Uh, Muhammad Rasul Khori and Sons, who run the Rolex here in Abu Dhabi, are a very, very good company. Uh, the other stores that we've been to have been very good. But this was very, it was kind of really odd. I felt like I, I didn't feel like I'd purchased a Rolex product. Put it that way. Um, I felt like you just went into a normal watch shop. Yeah. And just bought a, like, a, you know, just a. Yeah. No more which is which is really disappointing. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm actually a little happier about the saving that we made on yeah, that was really because that was almost saving dirhams plus actually. That's almost yeah. So and it was you know I didn't plan it or anything. It just happened to be the the the, the price of it was lower at the moment due to the exchange rate. So I'm happy. And I'll do an unboxing and everything else later on on, the, on my main channel, so do stay tuned to that. Thank you, Miss Buda. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Baby Kwan. This guy puked up in the Rolex store as well. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning YouTube, it's the day after yesterday, so this is Saturday, oh, I just did a mini workout here uh, using Sean T, uh, Dr. Oze Sean T, which is really good, um, just as a warm up, anyway I'm going to go for a swim this morning, so, oh, 
just getting my stuff ready and um, I'm gonna go down for a swim and then later on I'm gonna go and sort out my car um, I keep getting issues with the car There's some kind of error message that comes up and but anyway going down for a swim I'm not using the Rolex today I'm gonna use the uh, G-Shock I use this because it's obviously waterproof and and all that but it also helps with laps and things uh, this high intensity swimming that I'm doing so it's kind of good for that just got back from the swim 16 rounds 16 laps rather done um, exhausted though I need some breakfast and I've got to kind of play with baby Kwan now. <coughs> balloons do you want to read a book Zane should we go and get a book we bought him some new books yesterday do you want some new books can I read a book? Look at, look at him, he's trying to reach up for the camera now. I am very fluffy and soft, and I hop, hop, hop! Oh no, go for the book, not the camera. All right, can you turn the page? Good boy. I am very cute and cuddly, and I wolf, wolf, wolf. Good boy. I am very feathery and colorful, and I squawk, squawk, squawk! <laughs> Remember this, Postman Pat? <laughs> right, so <laughs> I got a phone call from the uh, dealer and uh, I'm not going to take the car in today because it's going to be a little difficult. Uh, they're kind of backlogged with some work, so a bit of a pain. That means next week I'm going to have to take it in. I was hoping to show you guys some footage of the dealer and, and also some of the, the new Infinity cars as well, but hey, we're going to have to wait for that. Um, so yeah, anyway, the rest of the day, um, I took my Rolex out. I haven't kind of like made an unboxing video yet. I think I'm gonna do it today because I've got some time now. But I'm just trying to get it some loom light. Sun's not out here currently at the moment, but I'm trying to get it some loom light. That's what it looks like there. It's a beautiful, beautiful watch. I'm very, very happy with the, with the purchase. Just simple, elegant Rolex. But yeah, um, I posted a picture of this up on Instagram yesterday and it got a lot of attention. Interestingly enough, more attention than the AP. Now if you're into watches and if you understand like the watch hierarchy, then you'll know that the, the automized PGA is considered a uh, hot horology. It's like at the top, uh, relatively, compared to where this model of the Rolex is. But most people don't know that and it's, it's fascinating just what a what a impact the branding of Rolex has on people's minds and, and, and perceptions because um, I never, I mean I posted up a picture yesterday on Instagram and I posted the picture up when I first got my AP but it didn't get anywhere near the same level of attention um, so it's it's kind of odd, it's always interesting to to see that I mean this is a much cheaper watch than the other one but yeah, so Rolex, I suppose, is Rolex what it is, but got a lot of attention. And then this morning there was uh, a, somebody that I know uh, who made a comment, just sent me a private DM about about stuff and, and, and things like that. And he's trying to he's trying to get some motivation. And and he said that you know thank you very much for posting that up because you know it can help me uh, motivate myself to to achieve things and and to 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 focus on my targets and stuff and I, and I replied back to him and I said to him that you know everything takes time um, three years ago I was not in the uh, situation that I am in now three years from now even a year from now six months from now I don't know where I'll be compared to where I am now so I think the thing about life is is that you've got to just you've got to work hard there's no way around it you've got to work very very hard because if it was easy, then everybody would get it. You've got to work hard at what you believe, at what you focus at, at what you aim for. But I think what is more important is you've got to work intelligently. So if everybody else is doing something and you know you figure out that it's not necessarily the right way of doing it, then do it differently. Work intelligently. Anyway, oh, I must show you uh, something that came in related to watches. Come. Right, this is something that I'm going to do a full review on, so do stay tuned to the channel. But this is a uh, watch winder and watch storage kit. There we go, there are my other two mechanical pieces, the Seiko SKX007, the AP uh, Royal Oak Offshore Diver, 
and then I've got my um, Orient Eminence in there which is winding away. And it's a really really cool device because if you have a mechanical watch um, one of the issues is if, if you leave them on their own is the fact that they do stop winding after a, a certain number of days or hours or whatever so this is useful for that. Got some controls over there and um, yeah I'm gonna do a full detailed review of this for the channel because I've been asked to asked to, to share it with you guys so do stay tuned to that but um yeah that's it uh, that's it for from us for this vlog hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday um, I'm sorry I didn't post a video up last Wednesday and that was no reason other than the fact that really uh, it's just it's it's really hectic this next six months six weeks sorry at work is just chock a block it's very just very busy so I'm, I'm not getting the same opportunity to vlog as I would be uh, so do stay tuned thank you so very much for for watching for liking for subscribing if you enjoyed this video do share it on your social network streams on Facebook on Twitter alright that's it from us uh, for this vlog so we'll see you on Wednesday's vlog do stay tuned for that because I've got some information about a really really awesome giveaway coming up uh, for you guys we've hit I think it's 11,300 subscribers now on the channel I'm hoping before uh, the end of December to hit 15,000 subscribers I don't see how that's uh, not possible um, but obviously with your help that's perfectly possible so please do share the videos do share the channel with your friends on social network I think baby Kwan is crying now, so I'm going to go and uh, help Miss Bila out there. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Peace and blessings.